Hey friends, I'm Rhiannon from Drawn by Rhiannon and today I'm going to be drawing some corgis. craziness of Christmas when it comes around to January I'm just ready to sort of start fresh work on some new stuff so I always dive straight into print designing when it comes to January so the other day I had a little plan through of what designs I wanted to do for the year and the first one that I'm gonna do is corgis so I don't know if you know this but corgis are the cutest dogs in the world fight me in the comments if you don't agree but i am 100 percent here for the corgis um i actually saw a couple the other day when i was out shopping and they were just so cute like so cute um so yeah i thought they had to be first on the list to be made into a print design so today I'm going to be showing you some of the art supplies that I use when I'm drawing and going to be doing a little time lapse of the drawing itself and then hopefully get it all scanned into the computer, make it into a print design and fingers crossed by the end of the day we will have a finished print design. So hopefully I'm still in the same outfit at the end of this and I did manage to get it all done in one day. We'll see what happens. So let's get started. Before I start drawing any design, I always like to get some reference pictures for it. So usually I would use my own photos. I like going out and getting primary research for print designs, but when it's something like corgis, I very, very sadly don't have easy access to corgis. So I'm heading over to Google Images just to get some reference pictures so that I can get really accurate drawing of these corgis. Okay, so I've got my sketchbook, nice clean page ready to go and I've got my pencil so I think I'm going to draw these in pencil crayons and um, do all the shading with pencil crayons um, so I think that's going to work well with the fur so I'll see how it goes um, but when I'm drawing I don't really like drawing in pencil too much because I feel like it's a very harsh line and even if you rub it out you still sort of got the indentation and like you can always see it so I actually draw in um, grey pencil crayons instead. So this is the one that I've been using for many many years. It came out of I think WH Smith crayon pack there. Had that for many years so as you can see it's somewhat dead. So I treated myself to some new ones recently and these are Faber Castle pencils and they are absolutely gorgeous. They're really nice to work with. Um, they come in so many different shades, which I find really handy. So I've got warm gray three and cold gray four. So I tend to do um, sort of the first draft with the lighter color gray pencil. And when I'm happy with the outline, I will go over it in the darker gray. Um, just to go over the details that I want because I found that the light grey doesn't pick up all that well when I'm scanning it in so I sort of need the darker grey to go over it so that the, the scanner can pick it up. So I'm going to start with the standing corgi and here we go! <laughs> sort of like the um I build the shapes in first with just circles and things like that and then go around the outline filling it in and then add in some little details as well like this little face um so now that is done I'm going to go over the lines that I'm happy with in the darker gray pencil to pick them out more and then probably scan that into the computer as a line drawing then I'm also going to try coloring it in with pencil crayons and see how 
that turns out. Um, I think I would rather do it in pencil crayons than colour it in digitally, but we will see how it goes. over it in a darker grey pencil. You can see the outline a lot better. So I'm really pleased with that. It's surprisingly difficult shape to get right. But I think I think we're there, I think we're there. So I'm gonna scan this into the computer now so that I've got a version of this just in case I completely mess it up when we go in with the coloured pencils. So I always just make sure that I photograph it at each stage just in case I do go wrong, then I can always go backwards. So that's the next stage is to scan it into the computer and then I'm going to pick out the colours that we need for this, all different shades of browns and creams and that kind of thing um, and then start colouring in. Okay so I've got the pencil drawing all scanned into the computer now so I'm about to move on to colouring in. So I've gone through my pencil crayons to get the right colours that I'm looking for. I've got like a lot of browns and sort of orangey browns greys that kind of colour so the pencil crayons that I use are Reeves I've had these for absolutely years um, I'm hoping to upgrade at some point they're not bad to be fair they're not bad but um, yeah I would love to upgrade to maybe the Faber Castle set instead but um, they're not bad they're not bad so yeah just gonna crack on with the colouring in and see how that goes if I'm not happy with how it works coloured in with pencil crayons then what I'm going to do is revert back to the pencil drawing and then colour it in digitally instead but I would prefer to do it in pencil crayons so hopefully it turns out alright. It's like really easy to over colour things so I think I'm going to leave it there before I do too much that I can't take off. So this is what we've got. Little Corgi, he's looking really cute. So I'm pretty pleased with that. Um, managed to get the colour pretty much where I wanted it to be so that's really good. Um, don't need to do too much editing the colours in Photoshop which is brilliant. So what I'm going to do now is scan it into the computer and then we need to clean it up a bit because um, there's always sort of like little pencil marks here and there and obviously want to get rid of the texture of the paper from the background and then I'm going to make it into a print design is the plan.
doggy print all finished so just after i stopped recording i did actually go back and just tweak it a little bit um just make sure all the measurements lined up properly so that it was everything's all nice in line um so i hope you like it please let me know what you think in the comments below it was a slightly different print from what i was intending on doing Basically, I had intended on doing um, like several different corgis in different positions and then make it into a random repeat print, but the drawing just took so much longer than I was expecting. Like, I think it took about five or six hours just to draw the one corgi, so it, it just wasn't feasible to do so many different drawings and then to make it into a random repeat print because random repeat prints take so much longer to design because you have to arrange it all yourself. Whereas with a half drop repeat, which is what I ended up going with, you basically just press the button and it does it for you. So it took a bit of a shortcut, I gotta be honest, but it's been a really long day. Um, I'm really tired, <laughs> so. But anyway, yeah, please let me know what you think about it in the comments below. If you have any requests for any other prints, um, I'm thinking of doing some more dogs, so I'm thinking of having like a whole dog series, different breeds and anything. So if you have a particular breed of dog that you love, please let me know and um, I'll pop it on the list to do. I'm going to be doing a Spaniel print next. So if you're a Spaniel fan, there's one coming for you. So I'm hoping to be getting some new fabric printed soon for spring. So let me know what items you'd want to see the corgis on. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please click like if you did. And also please subscribe to the channel. I'm going to be uploading um, a couple of times a month at least. And turn on the notification bell to be the first to find out when I post a new video. So that's it from me. I hope you enjoyed this and I will see you in the next video. Bye!